Hello friends, Karthik is back with the new fresh tutorials. So let's start learning. So friends, you can see my notepad. I have wrote down few points. So this is for how to write flexible search query easily. So we'll go one by one points. So first one we can see flexible search is out of the box query language based on SQL syntax so this flexible search is having little bit different syntax not that much different and but it is based on SQL syntax itself second point Flexible search queries have little bit different syntax than SQL, whatever I told now. Third point, database table name is not used in flexible search queries. So this one is like the actual names in the database table for the either it is table name or it is column name. We are not using directly that name in our flexible search queries that we will see how we are using fourth point we use item types to search any particular records from database so this one is like in hybris as in my previous tutorial you can go through that and you will find the knowledge about item types and all so item types in hybris relates to the database tables we have to give deployment table for which it will convert into the database tables so fifth point the item types which we use in the query will be mapped to a corresponding tables by hybris same thing which I told previously like there will be a table which will be mapped with the item types so that the records will be get stored on the tables flexible search query execution has two phases so first one is pre-parsing phase in this phase, Hybris converts the flexible search query into SQL query. Second, executing the SQL converted query in this phase, converted SQL query will be executed by Hybris. I will show each one on the console. So nothing to worry. It's very simple. So difference from the traditional SQL query we need to specify the types and attributes within curly braces this is one important point regarding the syntax second we can't update any records by FL query as it's meant for searching records only so via flexible search query we cannot update any record so for updation of records, Hybris has come up with Impex extension. That is Impex import and export extension. That is out of the box Hybris feature by which we can update records. We can extract records. We can use traditional SQL query for update, but it is not recommended to use in Hybris. So we can use SQL query also for update, but it result in not good way in a hybrid system. So we should avoid using SQL query for any updates because Impex is already meant for updation. So you have to go for Impex if any update things are there. So I will show you on HSC. We 
you can see the HEC console, flexible search. I will write a simple SQL query converted to flexible with curly braces that is as select asterisk from user so the user here it is a item type so I have put in curly braces so I have executed the query you can see the converted SQL query So first the SQL query is getting converted from flexible search query. You can see alias has been used, users, user is converted to users. Item type pk string is there in it is using parameter kind, but no need of all that. We can check in search result we got the result as I have put for two records we got only two records so here the main thing is the syntax so in this query if I want to search any particular or specific column I need to write like this so I am searching for name comma UID within the curly braces so you can see the result so I have given the column name also within the curly braces separated with comma you can see the result so you will wonder like how these are getting named like name uid creation time but here if you see all are different like created ts for creation time UID is P underscore UID name is P underscore name but here it is different that's what so that we can see that from back office I will show you that how the naming conventions are dri driven so we can go to system types search for user one search equals user it's not there one minute let me check in name user equals it's not coming so name Okay, identify it starts with I will write user. Okay, we got some result. View result. Yeah, this one user. If I open this, we can see the tabs, properties, XML representation. So I will show you this. So this is the item type XML representation item type code is user you can see so here users in the SQL query so you can see that deployment table as users so that's how the table name has been created in database with s users type code system defined you can see the qualifiers used that will be converted to column name
you can see the qualifier names so that is how the xml representation is you can see password so this is how xml representation so we will see in properties same thing after getting converted it will be shown under properties the attributes defined for this type so you can see login disabled if you click on three dot and edit details you will find the names Let's see database column name p underscore login disabled so so this is how that p underscore is created in the database column names so i will search for login disabled but we don't have any result on that column is blank for these two records like this you can add any columns for checking the records so this is attributes inherited from super types super type will be having attributes which are getting extended or inherited to the child this creation time and all it will be on the attributes or super type so friends this ends the tutorial for flexible search query in case any doubt anything you can comment on the video so friends thank you for watching my video do like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you all of you see you then bye bye